Linux Mint 22.2 versus Kubuntu 24.04.3 LTS Gaming Showdown Hey gamers and Linux enthusiasts Welcome back to the channel If you are tired of Windows blue screens interrupting your raid or curious if Linux can finally deliver that buttery smooth gaming experience you've been promised buckle up today we are diving into the ultimate showdown Linux Mint 22.2 versus Kubuntu 24.04.3 LTS we've crunched the numbers fired up the rigs and tested everything from indie darlings to triple a blockbusters stick around to see which one claims the gaming throne in 2025 so let's jump in for years the debate has raged which linux distro is truly best for gaming windows has been the default but the proton's magic and hardware support exploding linux is knocking on the door enter kubuntu 24.04.3 lts the latest point release packing mesa 25.04 graphics drivers that scream performance we pitted it to head to head against the freshly minted linux mint 22.2 sera a stability beast based on the same ubuntu foundation we pushed both to their limits in a comprehensive gaming performance comparison the results they might just surprise you and they could change how you game on linux forever spoiler it's closer than you think but one pulls ahead where it counts pre showdown preparation the contenders before we drop the gloves let's meet our fighters linux mint 22.2 sera is the crowd pleasure for linux newcomers released in early september 2025 it's an lts edition supported until 2029 built on ubuntu 24.04 with the cinnamon 6.4 desktop environment so what makes it unique it's all about the polish and simplicity think a familiar windows like interface with built in tools for backups media handling and a rock solid update manager that keeps things hassle free for general users it's lightweight on resources boosts fast and just works without the tinkering on the flip side kubuntu 24.04.3 lts is ubuntu's kde powered sibling updated in august 2025 with linux kernel 6.14 and enhanced hardware support plasma 5.27 is its beating heart a customizable powerhouse that's simple by default but let's power users tweak everything from widgets to app to animations it's ideal for multitaskers who want eye candy without the bloat and it's focus on modern features like better wayland support shines for creative workflows for transparency our testing rig was a mid range based amd ryzen 5 5600x cpu nvidia rtx 3060 gpu We also spot tested AMD RX 6700 XT, 16 GB DDR4 RAM, 1 TB NVMe SSD, and a 144 Hz monitor. All tests ran fresh installs on dual boot partitions, with games sourced via Steam. We used Proton Experimental for compatibility, and Mango Hut for FPS overlays. Installation. both were brief under 20 minutes from usb mint's live session felt more plug and play with cinnamon auto detecting hardware seamlessly kubuntu required quick kde tweak for full disk encryption but nothing major gaming prep we enabled proprietary drivers right away more on that next no major challenges but mint's driver manager made nvidia setup feel like a one click wizard while kubuntu leaned on discover for a slightly more manual but flexible process now round 1 out of the box gaming experience all right round 1 how
how do these distros treat you fresh out of the stream trap? No mods, no tweaks, just install and play. Driver installation is where Ubuntu roots shine for both. On Mint, the driver manager scans your hardware and offers NVIDIA's latest 560 series or AMD's open source Mesa stack with a single apply button. Zero reboots needed for AMD. Kubuntu's Discord app does the same, but Plasma's system settings integrate it deeper, letting you preview impacts. Edge to Mint for sheer ease if you are NVIDIA phobic. Both handle AMD flawlessly out of the gate. Next, Proton and Vine compatibility. We tested with the shadow of the Tomb Raider as our benchmark. A Proton staple. Mint shipped with the Proton 9.0-3. Hitting 85 FPS average at 1080p Ultra. Ubuntu matched it at 86 FPS. Thanks to its fresher Mesa 25.0 stack. No crashes on either. But Kubuntu's VLAN session edge ahead in anti-cheat titles like Valorant via Litrace, avoiding X11 glitches Mint occasionally hit. Resource Utilization Idle Mint Cinnamon Sips 800MB RAM and 5% CPU. Perfect for background browsing. Kubuntu's Plasma idled at 1.1 GB and 7% but you can dial it down with compositor tricks. During light gaming like Hades, Mint stayed cooler at 65 degrees Celsius, GPU temps versus Kubuntu's 68 degrees Celsius, with negligibly FPS tips. Overall, Mint wins for set it and forget it efficiency. Kubuntu if you love fine tuning. Now, intense gaming benchmarks head to head. Now, the meat. Intense benchmarks on AAA heavy hitters. We ran 3 sessions per OS at 1080p high settings, averaging 10 runs with Proton GE for max compatibility. First up, graphically demanding titles. In Cyberpunk 2077, RT off, Kubuntu pulled 72 FPS average with steadier frame pacing. SDDEV 4.2 versus Mint's 5.1. Thanks to Plasma's Kevin Compositor, optimizing VSync better. About the temps, both hovered at 72 degrees Celsius, but Mint spiked at 75 degrees Celsius during ray traced scenes. Now, Forza Horizon 5. Mint surprised with 112 FPS to Kubuntu's 108. Cinnamon's lighter overhead won there. Overall, Kubuntu led by 5-8% to in open-world chaos. Here is a quick table insert. Input lag and responsiveness. We clocked mouse polling in CS2 and racing sims. Kubuntu felt snappier in FPS genres. 12 millisecond lag versus mints 14 millisecond. Crediting Plasma's low latency mode. For racing like Dirt Rally 2, both were neck and neck. But Mint's consistent frame delivery made wheel inputs feel more planted. No deal breakers. Linux input is leagues ahead of 2024's woes. Now, gaming utilities. Steam integrates flawlessly on both. But Kubuntu's Plasma widgets let you pin Epic Games or Lutris to a gaming dashboard. Lutris setup was identical, though Kubuntu's Discover auto fetched more runners. Mint's time shift for backups gave peace of mind mid session. Now, beyond the benchmarks, user experience and customization. Numbers are one thing, but gaming's about the vibe. How do these desktops play nice during your marathon? Desktop environment matters. Cinnamon on Mint is distraction-free, no flashy effects, stealing focus from your overlay, making it ideal for immersion. Plasma on Kubuntu 
It's a customizable dream. Disable blur for 2 to 3% FPS gains. Add game specific shortcuts or even script auto suspend. For overlays like Steam's big picture, Plasma's multi monitor handling felt smoother. Less prone to edge cases on Wayland. About the community support Mint's forums are gold for beginners. Search NVIDIA Crash and you will find step by step fixes from thousands. Kubuntu taps into KDE's vast ecosystem and Ubuntu's Stack Exchange with more gaming specific threads on Reddit's r fallen slash KDE. Troubleshooting Proton issues, both shine, but Kubuntu's got an edge for advanced tweaks like kernel params. About customization for gaming, Mint offers easy themes via its tools, plus code tweaks like gaming mode integration. Kubuntu goes wild. Plasma system monitor widgets track VRAM live and tools like core control for AMD overclocking are one install away. If you are an enthusiast modder, Kubuntu's your playground. Casuals, Mint keeps it simple. Now, the verdict. Who wins the gaming crown? Wrapping it up. Performance-wise, Kubuntu 24.04.3 edges Mint 22.2 with 5-10% to better FPS in most AAA tests. Cooler sustained loads and snappier inputs. All thanks to Plasma's gaming-tuned compositor and fresher graphic stacks. But Mint's fights back with lower ideal resources, rock-solid stability and that effortless setup that lets you game sooner. Highs for Mint, beginner's bliss and consistency. Lows, slightly more frame variance in ray traced epics. Kubuntu's highs, customization depth and Wayland future proofing. Now, lows, a tad more RAM hunger if untuned. Now, the clear winner. It depends on you. For casual gamers or Linux newbies, Wanting zero fuss, Crown Linux Mint 22.2. It's the reliable daily driver that won't quit mid boss fight. Enthusiasts and tinkerers, Kubuntu 24.04.3 takes the throne for its raw power and flexibility. Final recommendations Start with Mint if you are dipping toes. Switch to Kubuntu for the deep end. Looking ahead to 2025 and beyond, with Proton 10 on the horizon and NVIDIA's open source push, Linux gaming's brighter than ever. Expect hybrid distros blending the best of both. Drop your picks in the comments. Mint loyalists or plasma convert. Smash like if this helped. Subscribe for more showdowns. And I'll catch you in the next one. Game on.